Thank you very much. So new tonight, Senator Bill Nelson urging Governor Scott to stay out of it. He's using his power as governor to try to undermine the voting process. He's thrown around words like voter fraud without any proof. He's filed lawsuits to try to stop votes from being counted and to impound voting machines. Scott cannot oversee this process in a fair and impartial way. And thus he should remove himself from any role in the recount process. So joining me now to respond, Florida Governor Rick Scott. Governor, welcome. Good to have you here on the story tonight. Uh, what's your response to what your opponent had to say there? It's pretty consistent for Bill Nelson. He's always confused. The governor does not, is not responsible for recounts. We have separately elected uh, supervisor elections in each county. They do the recounts, and then the numbers are sent to the Secretary of State's office for tabula, you know, just to put out the statewide numbers. The governor is not involved. Now, my goal is that we follow the law. And what we've seen is, you know, in the supervisor election in Broward and Palm Beach County, both of them, the courts have said they haven't followed the law. Uh, we know Brenda uh, Snipes mixed um, illegal ballots with legal ballots. We know they've not let party officials in. The courts have said follow the law. So what I'm trying to do is get them to do what we, what we expect. The laws are set up there to prevent fraud, and for whatever reason, they don't want to do it. And let's all remember, 93,000 uh, votes came in after election night. At this point, though, I've won. I won on Saturday. There's no recount that's ever overturned when somebody has a 12,000 vote lead. So I'm headed that's to Washington uh, tomorrow All to right, start well, the process of becoming the yeah, next well, U.S. I wanna, senator. I want to ask you about that, but let me go back to the 93,000 votes that came in after. So you're supposed to have the final count submitted 30 minutes after the end of the of the closing of the polls. Is that correct? That's right. All right, but, but we all know that like there's a lot of absentee, a lot of mail-in ballot. In fact, the numbers grow dramatically with every election. So could that account for these 92,000 ballots, that they just came in late and they were sent in in time? Well, first off, 65 other counties figure out how to do it right. All right? These two counties couldn't. We don't know. We've, we've been asking the questions. Mm -hmm. uh, we still, to this day, we, we don't know. My goal is to make sure that this is done properly. Uh, that's why I've asked uh, the FDLE to come in and do an investigation. The Attorney General has demanded uh, that happen. I've asked the sheriffs to be vigilant. We want to make sure we have a free and fair election. Yeah, you, um, we're the, up over 12,000 votes. All right, 12,000 votes is, is correct at this point. Um, you lost a court decision today to impound. You wanted to impound the vote counting machines when they're not in the actual process of the recount. Did you want them physically removed and put somewhere? What did you mean by that? No, the goal, the goal is, to, is to make sure that we have law enforcement that's watching the ballots and watching uh, the machines all the time, just to make sure there's no So that's know, what no Judge Tudor did. He added right. three more Broward County Sheriff's deputies in addition right. to the BSO officers and the private guards. So are you satisfied now that that is secure? Well, it's, it's happened in Broward. We're still not uh, finished in Palm Beach County. So I think, I think there's, good, there's a hearing tonight, but it's, it's been done there. You know, Martha, one thing people have said to me oh, for the last few days, they said, they said, um, they said Rick, you know, you know, keep your chin up. You're going to win. This, is, this adversity will pass. What I tell people is I think about my dad, my adopted father, who did four combat jumps in the Second World War. That's adversity. Mm -hmm. I think about my mom living in public housing as a single mom, struggling to take care of children, uh, put food on the table, take care of a, a son that has significant uh, disease. That's adversity. That's what I want to work on. That's what I did in this state, help those families. That's what I'm going to do in D.C. So, so let me ask you, you talk about keeping your chin up. And, you know, that we've watched this number um, get, you know, a lot smaller so far by the day. And you just point, it's 0.16 percent right now between the two of you, 12,000 votes. Are you confident that this is going to go your way when all of these votes are counted in these very blue counties of Broward and Palm Beach? Absolutely. The, they're, so they, they've reported all the votes. Uh, we're up 12,500 votes. The, there's never been a change that but would change But the recount goes uh, on until like Thursday, that. correct? It's just a first off, there's just a machine recount, and then there'll be a hand recount for the over-under mm -hmm. ballots, and that's, that's all that's left.
All right. So, you, so you, you're confident at this point. Let me ask you one about the rules with the 30 minute rule that it's supposed to all be done by afterwards. So that that was not adhered to. So what's the penalty for that in Florida? Well, it's a, it's a violation law, so they can be, you know, fined for that violation. Uh, I think what's going to happen is the next legislature is going to have to go back and say, we've passed all these laws to make sure people comply so there's no fraud. If there's not tough enough penalties, we're going to have to increase the penalties to make sure this happened. Every other county but these two counties could do it. Well, why these two counties can't do it, I have no earthy idea. But we're going to figure out, we're going to get to the bottom of it. All right. So in terms of you said that Nelson, that uh, Bill Nelson's lawyers, the current senator, say that non-citizens should be able to vote. Do you have any evidence that that any non-citizens did vote in this election? Well, what we know is what we know is his Bill Nelson's lawyer, right. uh, you know, complained when. You know, the canvassing board said a non-citizen, they were going to throw out a non-citizen vote saying they should be able to vote in this election. So it's something you, we have to continue to be monitor. Every supervisor election's responsibility is to make sure that non-citizens don't vote. But you and don't so, have any evidence that that actually happened in this election, do, or do you? Well, what happens is you, you review this as much as you can, and then after the election you're able to do it again. All right. You, you want to go to Washington. Are you going to be on, uh, there on Tuesday for the, the picture with Senator McConnell? I know you said uh, over the weekend with Chris Wallace that you weren't sure. You've had another 24 hours to think about it. Yeah. Are you going to be there on Tuesday? I'm, I'm going up there tomorrow, and I'll be part of the um, you know, elections uh, for leadership. Uh, so I look forward to starting the process of opening up an office and, and getting started as a U.S. Senator. What, what, what's topic number one for you? Well, the most thing, the thing I've done here is make sure you take care of those families that are struggling for work. So that would be the most important thing to me. But there's a lot of issues. I put out a very specific plan, a 10-point plan, to make Washington work similar to what we've done in Florida, where we've turned this economy around. We have one of the best economies in the world now, the, a great education system, and a 47-year low in our crime rate. I'm going to try to do the exact same types of things in D.C. So, so tomorrow will be one week uh, since the election, and uh, everybody thought it was going to be over last Tuesday night, but it's still going on. Governor Rick Scott, thank you very much for being here this evening. We did ask Senator Nelson as well, and he's welcome here anytime. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Martha. You bet. So, new report.